You're like, yo, Walker said he's not black. You're right, I'm not the black America call me. Peace family, welcome to another episode of Underground Railroad Productions. This is your host Rich. People are very interested in this conversation with Waka Flocka and our indigenous heritage, quote unquote black people indigenous heritage here in America. It was a fraternal order of European men who were pushing slave states. They aligned themselves with the Confederacy who also aligned themselves with the KKK. So that term Indian is not indigenous to the Americas. That's European nomenclature. That's the term he used to describe people that he went when he went to the West Indies. Christopher Columbus never stepped foot on North America. Never. And so how could people here be called Indians? They never called themselves no Indians. And when Christopher Columbus went to Haiti and Cuba, he came in contact with Moors. He said that they have Moorish garment on. He and moss. He said that they have mosses. He said that he had to have an Arabic translator to speak to the Cuban king in Cuba. Christopher Columbus said Christopher that. Christopher Columbus, you read his memoirs. You can read the book, um, yeah, you can read the book called um, African Presence Early America, where he talks about how they wore emblems of precious moons around their neck. They were refrained from eating pork. That they had to speak right. Arabic to the indigenous tribes in Cuba. That they had um, um, Islamic names and Hebrew names. And that, because you gotta remember, he just finished fighting against the Moors in Spain in 1492. Mm -hmm. They come over here. We come over here, he just left Moor in Spain. He said he came in contact, and he said it was Moors everywhere. He came in contact with them, seeing that we were already over here already. And these Moors, you gotta understand, when early Islamic Muslims came from like Mali and these different places, when they came to the Americas, they amalgamated with the indigenous people here. The indigenous people said that they, was, they, they thought that they, they, it was their long lost brothers coming back. That's right. And when they amalgamated with them, they began to adopt Islamic customs and culture. So you had indigenous tribal people who were actually Muslims. That's or right. Muslims all throughout the Caribbean and Panama, all these different places. So when we talk about the Prophet, we just say that, you know, these inhabitants of North, South, South, these habits of North, South, South America are all Muslims. This is the fact that these people adopted Islamic culture. Right here, there were specific differences in the phenotype of tribes between the Mongoloid nomadic Indian. That came later. That came later and the dark skinned, melanated, quote unquote, black so-called Negro Indian or Aboriginal or Mound Builder. We will be considered the Aboriginal, Aboriginal Mound, builders. Mound Builders. Then you had the nomadic ones who lived in the Midwest who lived in teepees. You see what I'm saying? The Europeans said, oh, you know what? Let's find a way to subdivide these tribes. Let's get the more mongoloid ones to intermarry with us, exactly. take on European customs, and sign treaties to see the way land, and then exclude us, us outside of that. You see what I'm saying? Even after Abraham Lincoln passed the four emancipation proclamations, inclusive of 13 men with 20 sections, and the Freedmen's Bureau, we were classified as freedmen. Now, a lot of these tribal members that mix with the European, right? Like Stan Y.T., research him, his name was Stan Y.T., who was signing these treaties, right? When they signed these treaties and see the way these land, when these treaties was reconstructed, because they had a Masonic huh. a covenant with an individual by the name of Albert Pike, right? Albert Pike was one of the top Freemasons here in the Americas, 33 degree Mason. Um, he also started the KKK, right? What he did was, he, he held some of the tribes. He was a get, Satanist too. Right, he was a Satanist, right. He wrote a book called Morals, Morals and Dogma. You decode that book, Morals and Dogma, and you can see he was pushing the agenda from the Holy Crusades, along with the Catholic Church, to specifically Overthrow enslave Moors. Native American Moors, Moors in general here in the Americas. That was the agenda because it goes back to the war with the Moors, the Saracens, and who? The, and, and Hannibal, all of that. All of that, right. It goes back to that war going back to the to the Christian Christian Dome versus um, Islam. And that's happening right now. 
is happening right now. It goes back to that wall. So when you decode that book, you can see what Albert Pike was doing when he came here. He specifically handpicked certain Native American tribal leaders, made them Freemasons, had them sign treaties, and then on top of that, he convinced some of them to fight on the side of the Confederacy because they were pushing slave states.